Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here, and in this video, this is 3-2A, or 3-2, for the essentials of calculus. What we're doing is the product and the quotient rules. So here we go. Let's take a look at uh, 3-2A. In my second video, it's going to show you how to find the derivative using your TI Inspire. All right, so let's take a look. Let's shrink me down in the corner. Here we go, all the way to the corner. All right, so a couple things here. This is a dot, and this is a... See, sorry, it's not really a box, it's a dot for some reason. Um, it doesn't come in that great on my uh, my video here, so on my notes here. So the product rule. So the product rule is, check this out, this is the derivative of two functions. So if you're going to take one function times another function or two things multiplied together, you need to take the, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. I have no snazzy way of saying that that's just the way it is the quotient will however if you're taking two functions one divided by the other there is you're going to take the second times the derivative of the first minus the first times there is the second divided by the second square there's a, a, a neat little rhyme that you can learn it's a, it's called it's low d high so that's low that's g of x times the derivative of the top minus high d low that would be the top times the derivative of the bottom square the bottom square the bottom and away we go so it goes like this low d high minus high d low square the bottom and away we go okay so that's the low d high rule that's the quotient rule okay and students tend to tend to try to do derivatives separately and then just multiply them which does not work or divide them does not work you have to use the quotient rule you have to use the product rule we'll get more into this especially when we're doing derivatives of trig Ooh, man i'm spitting all my stuff here <laughs> especially especially when we get into using derivatives of like logarithms derivatives of exponentials derivatives of tangents oh my god you're freaking me out my says stop when we do those, we have to make sure we're using the quotient and product rule. Let's get going here. Let's take a look at some examples. So let's uh, do the derivative of this. Now, normally, I would say this is probably easier one just to foil it out and then use a power rule, but I'm using it as an example, okay, for, of our product rule. So our product rule says we're going to take the, the first one, all right, the first one, which is f of x. There it is again, okay, 3x squared minus 2, okay, here's the product right there, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of this is 2. Plus the derivative of the first one, so the derivative of 3x squared plus minus 2 is 6x, times the second one, 2x plus 3. All right, that would be our derivative. Okay, this is the product rule. All right, if I wanted to, I can multiply this sucker out. And if I wanted to do some simplifying and some algebra, this is what I'd get up, get with, okay? All right, so this is using the product rule. However, we could have just foiled this out and used the power rule if we wanted to, but I wanted to use it as an example. So let's take a look now. Sound like I slurred my words there. Trust me, I'm fine. Okay, guys, I'm okay. This time we have a variable in the denominator. This is actually a binomial in the, in the denominator. Whenever that happens, we must use the quotient rule. So, quotient rule. Okay, y prime. It's, it's quotient rule, quotient rule, qr. Low, d high, derivative of the top, 4x minus 4, minus high, d low negative three through to the bottom square the bottom and away we go all right we're going to leave this guy like that it's just too much work to try to simplify that guy so we're going to leave it all right let's take a look at another one negative nine five x squared so um this is not a binomial 
In a monomial, we can just bring this up as x to the negative 2. Now we can just use our power rule. So using the power rule, I'm going to get 18 fifths x to the negative 3. Um, if I did want to use the quotient rule, the quotient rule would work. I would do low 5x squared, d high, derivative of negative 9 is 0, minus high, d low, 10x, square the bottom, and away we go. All right, simplifying that out, this is 0. I get 90x over 25x squared to the fourth and that of course is going to simplify to 18 over 5x cubed which is the same thing as we got here all right so they would both work it's just the other way is a little bit simpler all right so these are three examples of the product rule and the quotient rule see you guys